Let's talk about a way of learning that you can get nowhere else except here at DevSlopes Academy. So if you're someone looking to become a software engineer, you, there, there's a ton of different options out there. You can go down the college route, you can go down the self-taught route, you can join a boot camp, or you can join an online academy like us, DevSlopes Academy. But here's the problem with a lot of different places out there. Take colleges, for example. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go in and you're gonna have to go and, and attend a college for four years. You're gonna end up in 60 to $80,000 in debt, and it's just not gonna be a fun experience. And the reason I'm saying that is because A, you have to learn everything except code. So if you're someone who wants to become a programmer, you're gonna find yourself learning English, history, science, and just all this random stuff that just has nothing to do with what it is you actually want to do. And that just seems like a huge waste of time and a huge waste of money. For context, we've had so many students that have been computer science majors come to DevSlopes Academy because they were like, yeah, I learned a lot, I got a, I got a CS degree, but I actually, don't know the coding skills that I need to go out and land a job. And it's not their fault. College has an outdated curriculum. The mentors sometimes don't really care. And you're just not gonna find any modern tech that's really applicable for real world scenarios. What you are gonna learn is a lot of theory. And theory can be good, but learning too much theory overshadows what you actually need to learn, which is code, syntax. And so if you go down the college route, understand that you're gonna learn a lot of theory. And by the end of it, you're probably still gonna need help when it comes to the actual technical skills. Now let's move on a little bit. Let's go to coding boot camps. Coding boot camps can, can be great for those technical skills, right? Because it almost feels like it's a trade school, except it's, it's kind of not. A boot camp structure can be very, very, very difficult to actually come out with a job ready skill set. Think of it like this. You join a coding boot camp for three to four months and then they shelf you out and they say, okay, you're ready to go. Here's the thing. Three to four months with any skill, especially a skill like programming, is not enough to have the core foundational concepts you need to go out and actually land a job. Put it simply, you're not gonna learn enough in three to four months, or you're gonna be overloaded with information that you're gonna forget things, and you're not gonna be able to go out and land a job afterwards. Again, that's not your fault. Boot camps push this idea down your throat that like, hey, you can learn to code in three to six months. Guys, that's not the case. Additionally, most of these boot camps are in person. So if you're someone who has a family, has a life, has a job, you're gonna have to uproot all of that to go attend a boot camp. And I mean, you would have to do the exact same thing if you were having to attend a university. Boot camps can be great for teaching you technical stuff, don't get me wrong, but you're not gonna learn everything you need in a three to six month period. It just doesn't work that way. Additionally, boot camps like to get people with, with what they call income share agreements. And they sound really promising on the outside. It's basically like, hey, you don't pay us until you land a job. The problem is, is with the income share agreements, there's some fine line writing that a lot of people miss. And that's this, it doesn't matter what job you get. Put it this way, you go to a boot camp where they're telling you, yeah, by the end of this boot camp, you're gonna be job ready, except it's only three months long. And then once you finish the boot camp, you're, you're left with, you know, you know some technical stuff, you, you know some technical stuff, but you don't know enough to go out and actually land a job. It, 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 everything was shoved in your face, like it was too much. Sometimes boot camps even have their own favorite students that they're trying to build up to success, and a lot of students get kind of left behind. And if you get left behind in a boot camp, there's no catching up because it moves so fast. So then you finish this boot camp and you realize, like, man, I can't go get a job. And then you're like, well, I, I'm unemployed now because I had to leave my job in order to come to this boot camp where I thought by the end of it I'd be able to go out and get a programming job. But since I can't get a programming job, I'm just gonna have to go get any other job. So then you go work at, say, like wherever, you get some random job, not a coding job and then boom now the income sharement kicks in and now they're taking money out of your check out of your pay at whatever job you got in order to pay back that boot camp and guess what it's not a programming job so now you just kind of wasted your money going to this boot camp and you don't even have the skills you need to go out and get a job next is the self-taught route now the self-taught route is the simpler of the three simply because you don't really lose a lot of money if you go down the self-taught route yeah you might lose 50 to 60 bucks whenever it comes to buying courses and things like that but you're not really going to lose out 
as, as much as you would a boot camp or a college. Now, what you will lose out on is time. The time it takes for you to learn to code by yourself when you're running into problems and things like that is so much longer than what it needs to be. And the reality is not a lot of people can do it. I'm someone who can't do it. I can't learn any skill without having someone who can teach me. For me, I train jiu-jitsu. I'm a purple belt in jiu-jitsu. And I'm trying to picture what would happen if I tried to like teach myself jiu-jitsu. Same thing with maybe learning like an instrument or something. Maybe you're someone who, who's always wanted to play the guitar and you tried learning it by yourself, but what you found is like, oh, you know, I, I tried to do it for like 30 minutes a day, but then, you know, life just got in the way. I wasn't able to learn or, or something like that. And, and you, you didn't have that set accountability. You couldn't hold yourself accountable to that. Now, personally, I don't think that's a problem at all. I can't do stuff like that. It, it's hard for me to learn skills like that. It's hard for a lot of people to learn skills like that. The difference is a lot of people don't want to say that they are that way. But the truth is, is it's okay. That's how it's supposed to be. It's really hard. You have to be like this David Goggins level mentality in order to learn a skill like programming all by yourself because there's so much to do with coding and you can't learn everything on your own without running into problems that make you want to chunk your laptop against the wall. So the self-taught route can be incredibly unmotivating and you can find yourself discouraged from the field in its entirety. So that's where DevSlopes Academy comes in. That's where an online academy like us comes in. We're the best of all worlds. At DevSlopes, we don't do any income share agreements. You're not going to pay thirty to forty thousand dollars, and you're still going to get access to those mentors. And guess what? It's sixteen to twenty-four months long. That's a lot of time. That's enough time for you to gather the skill set you need and actually go out and land a job. Which, by the way, still. All three of those places I just told you about, self-taught route, college, boot camps, they don't give you the career skills you need in order to go out and land a job. At DevSlopes, we do that. Here's our DevSlopes promise that we give every single one of our students. We do not stop working with you, teaching you, mentoring you until you land a job. If you guys just saw our video the other day, I did an interview with Alex. I'm gonna put it right up here. He's a student at DevSlopes and he just landed Landed a job at Discover, yes, the bank Discover, making $95,000 a year. We do not stop working with our students until they land jobs as software engineers, something that no boot camp, no college, and no self-taught course is gonna do for you. We teach you the networking strategies, we teach you the technical skills you need in order to prove yourself efficient to employers, we teach you how to go out and land paid projects to put on your resume to say, hey, I have paid work. We teach you how to be employable software engineers, and we hold that DevSlopes promise to the T. So if you're someone looking out to learn how to code and you were thinking like, what's the best path I should go down? This is why I wanna tell you about what we do here at DevSlopes, because we're changing the way education works. We're redefining the way education works, and we're making things a lot stronger. And we're making things practical. How can you go out and land a job? Why would you wanna learn something if you don't even know how to go out and use it to land a job? And that's at DevSlopes what we're trying to do. So if you wanna learn how to code and you wanna start programming and you wanna cut out all the other bullshit, click the link down below, take a free quiz, because we don't let everybody in the academy take a free quiz, see if DevSlopes is the right fit for you, and get started learning. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.